So the next piece of functionality is the ability to show selected only. So if I go ahead and grab my rectangle selector and make sure I have visible only turned off, and I just window this entire region here, I can come over to this drop down and I can say show selected only. And I can go inside and immediately I see some stuff wrong here. Um, and then I can even stack these. So like if this was more complicated than this, I could come in and I can select again and do that again, right? And kind of narrow it down. And look, I even discovered some more stuff. Um, so this is an alternative, a quicker way to show selected only and do some uh, mesh cleanup stuff, right? So this is a, just a real handy way of doing it. Now, it's an alternative to the ability of, so if I just click on that piece, and I'll just come back to showing everything. It's an alternative to coming over to the view view clip option. This is another way of doing it where you could come in and you could do a view clip based on a plane. You could do a view clip between two planes. Right? Or you can do one inside of a box where you come down like so. Like that. And with this view clip, once you set it up, you hit the checkbox and it stays on. The problem with this one is you forget it's on. So if I do this, like a lot of times people are working on the model. And they click on it and they reverse selection. I guess this is another problem that it selects things that are not, that are outside of the view clip. And when you do that... So let me just click on this. I'm just going to do a test example. I'm just going to click on that and hit delete. But let's say you do a bunch of work. You forget this is on. Like there's no cue on screen to let you know that your view clip is on. And I've seen people in, in classes forget about that. So if you come over to view clip and then you turn it off, you'll see that the view clip did work. Um, on just that area that I was working on. So that's important to recognize. So I'm just going to undo that. So that is the selected area. And then I touched on view clip just to kind of show the older method for working with it versus the new one.